Hey there everybody, it's The Real Just Sean and it's another memory box and today we're going to do what is regarded as sort of, I wouldn't say genesis, genesis pun intended, but uh, it was one of the earliest things that sort of brought forward Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and it's one of the many illusion games um, oddly, most of them came out on the Master System or Game Gear, despite the fact the uh, Mega Drive or if your Colonial Genesis was around at the time. Um, in fact, the last one of these actually came out in 1998 uh, in Brazil on the Master System, which had long since stopped being relevant, but... Brazil's a whole different thing. That itself is a whole topic to talk about. Um, not a memory box, but just to talk about. Anyway, Castle of Illusion. Um, today, as you'll quite obviously see, I'm just going to run through like what they call practice mode. It's easy mode. Uh, just because I want to talk about the game. It's basically it's a side-scrolling platformer. Um, it's your basic princess has been captured, go rescue her. Um, in easy mode, you've only got the three gems to get. Uh, onwards, you've got seven gems. It's like the three of them is to make Ms. Rebel, who's the witch who's captured Minnie Mouse, see her own beauty. In the normal game, it's seven gems, one for each color of the rainbow, to be able to take on Ms. Rebel. Um, basically, it's not very great as regards the rewarding the player you've only got one attack to well you two attacks but the main one when you haven't got any throwable items is to just jump on an enemy and you it's not very intuitive that you have to jump and then hold down to bounce off the enemy but it does also help you get up to areas as well uh to reach sort of you know bonus things extra lives stuff like that points um then basically, in the normal game, not in this game that you'll see, but in the normal game, you fight bosses at the end of each level, and you fight the boss to get the gem. Um, except for the final two levels where you get a gem halfway through, because it's all about, obviously, making sure you're up to the final boss. Um, basically, you get all the gems, and it opens up a route to the Witch's Tower. You won't see any of that in this one because it is just <laughs> the easy mode where it's only three but i just wanted to put that as video so i could talk about the game um it also came out on the master system and the game gear which all versions had their own sort of graphics and levels and different things you could do in the game um but yes it's i'm I'm going to sound a bit blasphemous here. I prefer Castle of Illusion to Sonic. I do. Because Sonic is all about go to the right side of the screen as fast as you can, jump on Robotnik seven or eight times, and you're done. Castle of Illusion is more about taking your time to explore the level, look at the graphics in the level, look at how really well done, even sort of looking back now, it's like, yeah, it's not, you know, it's obviously not sort of a a world beater by today's standards, but it still looks kind of cool. And, you know, there's secret stuff to try and find, namely by jumping off enemies to get to higher ledges. It's all kind of worth it, you know? It's really good, and I just prefer it to Sonic. Um... But yeah, um, when it came out, um, it was sort of heralded across the board. It was as close to a near-perfect game as you can get on the Mega Drive. The Game Gear one got panned. And it, was like, oh, it's, it was basically just... Well, I wouldn't say panned. It just wasn't as good. It was basically just Mario. That's what the Game Gear one, but it was only 8-bit. So what can you do? Um... But yes, as I said about the Illusion series of games, um, there was a bunch of them. Um, Land of Illusion was on the Master System and Game Gear, 
World of Illusion had both Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and was on the Mega Drive. Uh, Legend of Illusion was the Game Gear. And then this is the thing about Brazil. 1998, Legend of Illusion got ported to the Master System just for Brazil. Yeah. And um, on the 3DS, they did Epic Mickey Power of Illusion. Um, it's kind of a spiritual successor, but uh, Ms. Rebel now looks like Maleficent, and uh, never mind. Um, they did remake the game uh, on the PSN, the XBLA, and the PC. Um, it's kind of cool. I played it. It's sort of 2.5D, but the graphics are 3D. And they actually had the original games director working on it as well. Well, he supervised the whole thing. It was really cool. They had a different soundtrack. Um, and if you had, if you got it on the PSN, you also got the original game as well. It was quite cool. Um, but yeah, it's your typical side scroller and platformer. We've seen millions of them at this point. But this for me, Super Mario 3, this, then Sonic. That's how it goes for me. Um, yeah, I say blasphemous, I know, for someone who was always more of a Sega fan, but that's how it goes. Sonic, not as good as this for me. But yes, that was another memory box. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have been The Real Just Sean. Feel free to check out the rest of our videos and look forward to Warlord's video tomorrow. Then I'm back on Wednesday with a Sight Unseen, which I apologise for in advance. You'll see when it's there. Warlord's back again on Thursday, and then I have my Friday full play. And again, I apologise in advance, but you'll see when you get there. And um, for more of our stuff, check out Totally Tanker on Facebook. And to see everything that we do all in the one place, check out totallytanker.com. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye. <laughs>